Task 12 Unit 13 History Answer Sheets Working with Words A. Match the words with their definitions meanings. A. Passion Any powerful or compelling emotion or feeling as love or hate. B. Surveillance Continuous observation of a place, person, group or ongoing activity in order to gather information. C. Integrity The state of being whole, entire or undiminished. D. Avuncular Like an uncle. E. Livelihood A means of supporting one's existence. F. Fascination Powerful attraction. G. Innovation An idea, practice or object that is perceived as new. H. Panorama an unobstructed and wide view of an extensive area in all directions. I. Resilience The power or ability of a material to return to its original form, position, etc. after being bent, compressed or stretched. J. Evacuation The removal of people or things from an endangered area. B. Define the following professionals. One has been done for you. Architect An architect is an engineer who designs buildings and advises in their construction. Civil Engineer A civil engineer is an engineer who designs and oversees the construction of public works. Mechanical Engineer A mechanical engineer is an engineer who designs, produces and operates machines. Aerospace Engineer an aerospace engineer is an engineer who designs and develops aircraft, spacecraft, satellites, and missiles. Automobile engineer An automobile engineer is an engineer who designs and develops vehicles, including cars, trucks, and buses. Electronic engineer An electronic engineer is an engineer who designs, develops, and manufactures electrical equipments. Electrical Engineer An electronic engineer is an engineer who designs and develops electronic devices such as computers, communication systems, and digital appliances. Computer Engineer A computer engineer is an engineer who designs and develops computer hardware and software. Food Engineer a food engineer is an engineer who applies engineering principles to the production, processing, and preservation of food. Chemical Engineer A chemical engineer is an engineer who designs and develops chemical processes and equipment for various industries. Biomedical Engineer A biomedical engineer is an engineer who applies engineering principles to the development and improvement of medical devices and technology, including prosthetics, implants, and diagnostic equipment. Comprehension Answer the following questions. A. Where were Frank and Nicole employed? Frank and Nicole were both employed in the World Trade Center. B. How does the author describe Frank's attachment to the Twin Towers? The author describes Frank's attachment to the Twin Towers as a love affair. C. How did the two families become intimate with each other? The two families became intimate with each other through socializing and their children attending the same school. D. What, according to Nicole, did Frank think of the towers? According to Nicole, Frank thought the towers were the most beautiful buildings in the world. E. Why did Frank want to help the people in the tower after the attack? Frank wanted to help the people in the tower after the attack because he felt it was his duty as a Port Authority police officer. F. Why did Frank not follow Nicole's request even after knowing that the building was on fire? Frank did not follow Nicole's request even after knowing that the building was on fire because he felt a responsibility to help others and fulfill his duty as a police officer. G. Who did Frank call from the building after the attack? Frank called his sister Nina, who lived on West 93rd Street in Mahanatan, 
from the building after the attack. H. How did Nicole feel after the collapse of the first tower? After the collapse of the first tower, Nicole felt that was like the beginning of a nuclear war. Everything went absolutely quiet and she felt in the middle of a fog that was as blindingly bright as a snowstorm on a sunny day. I were Fran's children serious as soon as they heard the news of their missing father? Why? Frank's children were not immediately serious when they heard the news of their missing father because they didn't understand the severity of the situation at the time. Critical Thinking A. Many innocent people lose their lives in ruthless attacks every year. What do you think the governments should do to protect their people from such attacks and make the world a safer place to live? Discuss with your friends. Yes, the government has a crucial role to play in ensuring the safety and security of its citizens. It should invest in modern technologies and intelligence gathering to prevent attacks before they happen. The government should also have strict border controls and security checks to keep terrorists from entering the country. To promote tolerance, peace and dialogue to prevent extremist ideologies from taking root. B. Revenge and violence are the integral parts of the history and civilization. They can't be ignored, only managed. Do you agree or not with this statement? Present your logic. I do not agree with the statement that revenge and violence are integral parts of history and civilization. While it is true that violence has been a part of human history, it is not a necessary or inevitable part of civilization. Humans are capable of progress and change, and we can learn from our mistakes and seek peaceful solutions to conflicts. Violence only begets more violence, and it ultimately leads to destruction and suffering. It is important to prioritize peaceful means of conflict resolution, such as negotiation, mediation, and diplomacy, rather than resorting to violence and revenge. Writing A. Write a description of an event that you have recently witnessed. I recently witnessed a colorful cultural festival that took place in the downtown area of my city. It was a celebration of the rich heritage and diversity of our community, featuring music, dance, and food from various cultures. The streets were lined with booths selling traditional clothes, crafts, and food from different countries. The air was filled with the scent of exotic spices and the sound of lively music. There were dance performances from different cultures, each one uniquely colorful and vibrant. The performers wore traditional costumes and moved to the rhythm of the music, enchanting the audience with their graceful movements. People from different ethnic backgrounds gathered to celebrate and appreciate each other's cultures. The festival was a beautiful display of unity in diversity as people from different walks of life came together to appreciate each other's differences. Overall, it was a heartwarming and joyful event and it made me appreciate the beauty of diversity in our world. B. Human life does not pass as one expects. You might have also gone through different but memorable incidents. Write an essay on an unforgettable event in my life in about 500 words. I will never forget the day I lost my grandmother. It was a tragic event that left a deep impact on me and I still feel the pain and sorrow of that day. My grandmother was a kind and gentle soul who always had a smile on her face. She was my source of comfort and support, and I cherished the time I spent with her. Her passing was a devastating loss to our family, and it changed our lives forever. I remember the day she passed away vividly. I was at school, and my mom came to pick me up early. When I saw the tears in her eyes, I knew that something terrible had happened. We rushed to the hospital where we found out that my grandmother had suffered a heart attack and could not be saved. 
The whole day was a blur of tears, hugs, and sadness. I felt lost and alone, unable to come to terms with the fact that my grandmother was gone. I remember feeling like a part of me had been ripped away and that nothing would ever be the same again. In the days and weeks that followed, my family and I mourned the loss of my grandmother. We tried to find comfort in each other's company, but the pain of our loss was too great. It was a time of sadness and reflection, as we all struggled to come to terms with our new reality. Looking back, I realized that my grandmother's passing taught me a valuable lesson about life. It made me realize how precious and fragile life can be and how important it is to cherish the moments we have with our loved ones. It also made me appreciate the strength of my family and the power of love and support during difficult times. In conclusion, the loss of my grandmother was an unforgettable event in my life that left a lasting impact on me. Although the pain and sorrow of that day will always be with me, I have learned to cherish the memories of my grandmother and the time we spent together. Her passing taught me a valuable lesson about the fragility of life and the importance of treasuring the moments we have with our loved ones. Grammar Prepositions B. Complete these sentences with the correct prepositions. A. The relationship between the two boys has changed significantly over the past few years. B. In Nepal, many girls get married at an early age. C. I'm not in the mood for such silly games. D. There were no security personnel on duty at that time. E. The new smartphone is similar to the one I bought a few years ago. F. My dad insisted on taking the later train. G. People with ambition always try to achieve their goals, no matter what happens. H. Mr. Jenkins has been disabled all his life as a result of a childhood illness. I. We bought the TV because it was on sale. J. She has no understanding of how computers really work. K. I gave him my new t-shirt in exchange for a few cigarettes. L. The company is run by two people who hardly ever meet. M. All the celebrations and parties were called off because of the tragic accident. N. There was a great need of volunteers at the site of the crash. C. Complete the following text with correct prepositions. What are we seeing here? One very real possibility is that these are the educational consequences of the differences in parenting styles that we talked about in the Kreis London chapter. Think back to Alex Williams, the nine-year-old whom Annette Laro studied. His parents believe in connected cultivation. He gets taken to museums and gets enrolled in special programs and goes to summer camp where he takes classes. When he's bored at home, there are plenty of books to read and his parents see it as their responsibility to keep him actively engaged in the world for him. It's hard to see how Alex would get better at reading and math in the summer. Simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. B. Make sentences from the given clues as stated in brackets. A. Who passed the exam? Future simple. Who will pass the exam? B. How you get home? Future continuous. How will you be getting home? C. I come later. Future simple. I'll come later. D. She catch the train by 3 p.m. Future perfect. She will have caught the train by 3 p.m. E. It rain tomorrow. Future simple. It will rain tomorrow. F. John sleep at 4 a.m. Future continuous. John will be sleeping at 4 a.m. G. How long you see your boyfriend when you get married? Future perfect continuous. How long will you have been seeing your boyfriend when you get married? H. It rain in Kathmandu next week. Future continuous. 
it will be raining in Kathmandu next week. I how long you work here when you retire? Future perfect continuous. How long have you been working here when you retire? J. He not finished the cleaning by the time she gets home. Future perfect. He won't have finished the cleaning by the time she gets home. C. Complete the following sentences with the correct future tense form of the verbs in the brackets. A. It will snow, snow, in Brighton tomorrow evening. B. On Friday at 8 o'clock, I'm going to meet, to meet my friend. C. Wait. I will drive to drive you to the station. D. When they get married in March, they will have been to be together for six years. E. You are carrying too much. I will open to open the door for you. F. Do you think the teacher will have marked to mark our homework by Monday morning? G. When I see you tomorrow, I will show, show you my new book. H. After you take a nap, you will feel to feel a lot better. I, I will let, to let, you know the second the builders finish decorating. J, we will wait, to wait, in the shelter until the bus comes. K, I am very sorry, Dr. Jones won't be, not be, back in the clinic unit to PM. L, this summer, I will have been living, to live, in Birganj for four years. M, I don't think you will have, to have any problems when you land in Pokhara. N. The baby should be due soon. Next week she will have been to be pregnant for nine months. O. By the time we get home, they will have been playing to play football for 30 minutes. P. When you get off the train, I will be waiting to wait for you by the ticket machine. Q. This time next week, I will be skiing, ski, in Switzerland. R. Now, I am going to check, to check, my answers.